classification. The classification is done on the basis of the habitats, feeding habits, their lifespan and on the different categories. We will study the classification of plants and animals in this chapter. Let us start with the classification of plants and animals. There are various animals and plants on the earth. So it has been classified on the basis of habitat, their feeding habits and their lifespan. Classification of plants. You know, there are various plants around us among them. Some are green while some of them are non-green. Similarly, plants can be classified on the basis of habitat. Plants even can be classified on the basis of presence or absence of flower. Some plants can be classified on the basis of their life span. Classification of plants on the basis of habitat. Let's start. Plants are found in different habitats. Plants living in different climate show different characteristics. Plants are classified on the basis of habitat according to the following way. Aquatic plants, terrestrial plants, plants growing in warm and moist climate, plants growing in dry and hot climate, plants growing in moist and shady climate, plants growing in cold climate. Now, aquatic plants. The plants which live and grow in water are called aquatic plants. They are also known as the hydrophytes. Some of the characteristics of hydrophytes are as follows. Roots are poorly developed. They have long, cylinder, spongy and flexible stem to resist the water current. The entire body is covered by a waxy substance to protect from decaying. They have air storage tissues. Example, Pistia, Hydrilla, Lotus, Water Lily, etc. Terrestrial plant. The plant which grow on land are called terrestrial plant. There are different types of land like desert, marshy, mountains and plains. Some features of terrestrial plants are as follows. Plant in plain have several branches and can survive in hot climate. Plant in mountains are usually tall, straight and are concept, waxy coating, etc. Now the terrestrial plants has been classified into different types because we have different types of land or the structure on the earth. First, the plant growing in warm and moist places. The plant that grows in warm and moist places are called mesophytes. These places are neither very dry nor wet. Some characteristics are as follows. Roots are well developed and much branched. Stems are well developed, erect and strong. Leaves are larger and closure. Example, rose sunflower, mango, etc. Plants growing in hot and dry climate. Plants found in hot and dry regions are called xerophytes. They are found in geric desert habitat. Some of the characteristics are as follows. Roots are highly developed and grow deep into the soil. Leaves of these plants are modified into spine to protect themselves from the loss of water. The stem are thick and fleshy to store the water and green in color to carry out the photosynthesis. Example, cactus, opuntia, aloe vera. Similarly, plants growing in moist and shady places. Plants like fern, mushroom, grow in cool and moist places. These plants have certain characteristics. They have weak stem as well as the plants are very small in size. Roots are absent if present are poorly developed. They require very less amount of 
sunlight and water to grow. Some plants even do not contain the chlorophyll and do not prepare their own food. Example, mushroom, fawn, it is same. Plants growing in cold places. The plants that grow in cold places are usually tall and strong. Some of the characteristics are as follows. These plants bear woody cones instead of flowers. Plant contain seeds which are not enclosed inside fruit leaves of these plants are pointed and needle example pine cycas fin theodor etc these are the characteristics which are based on the nature and the types of the plants the plants are classified on the basis of their habitat in the next class we will study the classification of plants on the basis of their lifespan and on the basis of their presence or absence of the flower. Similarly, we will study about the classification of animals also. Till then, be safe and secure. Stay at home and be safe. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.